stomach and see your tummy. I had the privilege of seeing an advanced screening of Arthur, and a lot of people have been asking me lately, you know, how I get into all these screenings, and honestly, I know people. <laughs> I'm friends with people in various industries, and I get emails about different promotions, and I get to see a lot of the movies early. It's very nice. Arthur is a remake, and it stars Russell Brand, and basically a very similar character to what he was playing in Get Him to the Greek. He's an incredibly rich man. He squanders his wealth on pointless things, like dressing up as Batman and parading around town in the Batmobile. <laughs> There's women all over the place, and he's drunk all the time, he's an alcoholic, and he's basically the same character, but he's good at playing that character. His nanny is played by Helen Mirren, and she basically cleans up after him all the time. And his mother's getting very tired of all of his various squanderings and forces him to marry Jennifer Garner, or she'll cut off his wealth. But the problem is, he met a girl that he actually starts to love, and so the comedy ensues. Russell Brand's very good in this film. I liked him a lot. He was very likable, and Helen Mirren also was very good. They had excellent chemistry together, both of them, and it was the strongest point of the film by far, which actually brings me to the worst part of the film. Since that relationship was so well portrayed and so strong, and both of the actors did such a nice job of portraying their characters, one of the main things we're supposed to care about in this movie is his relationship with this girl that he met that he actually loves, didn't believe that relationship whatsoever. Didn't believe the chemistry, didn't think there was any romance, just wasn't into that at all. So basically that entire portion of the film, that strength that we're supposed to feel in wanting him to be with the other girl, wasn't there. Also the woman who portrays that girl, she's from Greenberg, I forget her name, I thought she did a really bad job. It seemed like all of her comedy came purely from the script. It didn't seem like she had any improvisational skills at all, it just seemed all very forced. On the other hand, Russell Brand had a lot of wit, a lot of charm, a lot of really good lines came from him. Not very much of the comedy is laugh out loud, you know, it's not just like, oh my gosh, that's so funny, it's just a lot of witty charm, basically. Helen Mirren is actually pretty funny in this movie, too. Like a lot of comedies like this, the film starts to try to get serious towards the end, and in some ways it works, but in some ways it just doesn't. And that's always a tough line to walk in comedies like this. The whole story of the film is so forced, it seems like, you know, hey, let's get this kind of funny idea get this character who's like this, who's just a slob, and we'll throw him in there and have him all of a sudden have to make adult decisions and it'll be funny. And it seems like they didn't really care too much about the actual plot of the film, they just were relying on Russell Brand's comedic talents, which he does have. It doesn't feel like a movie, it feels just like an excuse to have various comedic scenes. Poor Nick Nolte, who's a great actor who for some reason just doesn't seem like he can even speak anymore, he's wasted in this movie and his character is just odd and, and very weird and it seemed like they just used him to try to get some pointless comedy at times It just did not work. I can see the director being like, okay Nick Nolte, we're gonna do this scene and we're gonna add these little little funny parts in it that you have to do and he's like, uh, I, I, don't, I don't think so, I, it's just, that's not working out for me because, you know, I'm Nick Nolte and I apparently can't speak anymore and I'm, I'm starting to get fat. I'm a very talented actor and I'm just not going to do it. Here's a million dollars. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Russell Brand has wit and he has charm. Helen Mirren does also. But the story of the film, and, and it's just, it's not really that funny. Like, you're not going to be rolling more than likely. So I'm going to give this movie two out of four stars. It's an okay film. It's just, there's something missing. <laughs>